Hey guys, Colin here and welcome back to Center Life Balance. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of Tai Chi. Tai Chi, you're probably quite familiar with and most people understand a lot about Tai Chi already. But Tai Chi, people don't understand, is actually an internal martial art. And many people don't even understand what the benefits of an internal martial art are or what the difference is between an internal martial art and an external martial art or just a martial art. Well, the difference and the main difference is that internal martial arts deal with internal power. They deal with developing internal energy in the body, which is something that other martial arts don't really focus on generally. So what are the benefits of an internal martial art like Tai Chi? Well, the first benefit that I want to talk about is relaxation. Tai Chi, unlike other martial arts, really focuses on developing relaxation above all other elements of practice. In Tai Chi, relaxation should be at the forefront of your practice. It should be the number one thing that you're focusing on. Now, in the beginning, everybody just needs to learn a form. You need to learn the movements and obviously you need to know what you're doing. You need to have some structure to your practice. But after that, the next benefit is really relaxation. It's the thing that everyone's striving for and everyone is trying to develop more in their practice. So that's one of the key benefits, relaxation. So why is relaxation even important? Well, relaxation is a process of letting go and it's a process of releasing what's already in the body, releasing tension and releasing stress. Well, you can imagine that if you can release te tension and stress, that you're gonna feel quite good. You're gonna feel more happy, you're gonna feel more energetic, you're gonna feel more alive because I guess having more stress and tension, anxiety, these things, they suck the life out of you. So relaxation is an awesome, awesome benefit to Tai Chi. Another amazing benefit that Tai Chi will yield you is developing more mind-body awareness. The process of Tai Chi is about learning what's going on inside the body. It's, a real, it's really a process of developing the feelings and the sensations, not developing the feelings and sensations, but developing your awareness of the feelings and sensations that are going on inside the body. Really, when it comes to tension, you want to be able to use your mind to scan the body to say, where am I feeling tension in the body? You could do this right now. You could just sit, sit let's say, with your back straight and just use your mind to scan your body and see, for example, your shoulders. Am I able to relax my shoulders a little bit? Well you'll be able to find that you should be able to relax your shoulders and allow them to just sink down just a little bit. Well, the process of Tai Chi and one of the key benefits of Tai Chi is that by being observant of the body, you become more aware of what's going on internally. And when you become more aware of what's going on in your body, this has a knock-on effect to awareness in general. You may have heard me say in other videos that the way we do some things is the way we do all things. Well, when you become more aware of what's going on in your body, you're going to become more aware in general and awareness is something that you're going to improve in your life. Another amazing benefit of Tai Chi, and this, is, this could be one of the obvious ones, is developing a flow state. When we're practicing Tai Chi, we're practicing to learn to move the whole body as one unit. We want to move the whole body together. There's a saying in Tai Chi that when one thing moves, everything moves. So when you're learning to move everything together, then the body gets into what we call a flow state. You start to feel the energy between the center and the extremities of the body coming down to the hands. You start to feel more connected and more alive. That feeling of aliveness is because the chi is flowing. The energy, the life force energy begins to flow in the body. When your energy is not flowing, what happens is it gets stuck. You, you end up with tensions, you end up with stiffness, stiffness in the joints, stiffness in the body, stiffness in the back, upper back, the lower back. We all suffer with tension and stress and stiffness in our bodies. Well, Tai Chi is one of the probably one of the best practices for letting go of stress, tension, and developing that flow state that is renowned for being unanimous with uh, creativity, with harmony, and with peace. So 
that's another key benefit is developing that flow state in the body. Another amazing benefit of Tai Chi is presence. I mean, presence is probably one of the most powerful things that we can develop in life. When we develop presence, presence is about being in this moment right now as opposed to having your mind drift, for example, and thinking about the future or thinking about the past. When you're practicing Tai Chi, the movements are they're so intricate and there's so much going on. I mean, you're trying to focus on, in the beginning, you're just trying to focus on where is my hand supposed to be? Where is my foot supposed to be? You're just focusing on where am I supposed to be in this moment? Where should my body be? What shape am I supposed to end up in? What, where am I supposed to finish? So. In the beginning, we're so like absorbed and so it takes such full attention to be able to grasp all the movements and all the detail of the movements that it really awakens in us a sense of presence. We have to become very present and really focused on what we're doing in the moment to be able to learn the movements correctly and to be able to memorize the movements, to be able to develop skill with the movements so that we don't have to think about what comes next. That's the presence is required for that. When you practice the same movement over and over again, you might think, wow, well, if I'm doing the same movement over and over again, eventually I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna be casual about it or I'm, I'm not gonna think about it. The reality is that no matter how many times you do the movements, there's always something new to hap There's always something new happening. There's always a deeper level of awareness that you can drive into the movement. In the beginning, it might be just about learning to step right, learning to move right, making sure your hand position is correct. Well, after a while, and when you've been practicing Tai Chi for a few years, you'll start to feel like, mm, there's, I feel a tension somewhere inside the body here, or maybe around my spine, feels like something's just not right. And you might have to focus on that for a few weeks or a few months until you figure out what is it inside my body that is, is not feeling right. And then you might make a change. You might realize what it is and then slowly but gradually you start to change something inside the body. And then all of the external movements, all of the, the bigger movements on the outside, all of a sudden feel different. They feel awkward or feel not correct all of a sudden because you've changed something inside and it has a knock-on effect to the outside of the body. So presence is required at all times with your Tai Chi in order to develop a higher level or even just to get from the A to B to the C so that you understand the form and you can understand where you're going with the movements. So presence is one of the benefits that you're going to gain by naturally learning all the movements in the form, by trying to get everything correct. It's going to require your full attention. It's going to require that you are not thinking about the future or the past, that you're present and in the moment. In fact, my first Tai Chi class that I ever went to in my life, at the end of the class, the teacher asked all the students, he said, were you thinking about anything else other than Tai Chi for this last hour? And that was, an emo that was a moment for me where I realized, wow, I really wasn't. I wasn't thinking about anything except just what I was doing that moment, what I was doing for that hour. I was so, fo so intensely focused on it, it was because it was a new thing as well. You know, Tai Chi for me back then, it was so new and so interesting. I was like, wow, this is, what's this? What's, what are they moving? They're all moving and they're moving in circles and they're flowing and everything. And I was like, it was so interesting that it, it just brought my full awareness into that moment in every moment of what I was doing. So you're going to get present when you start practicing Tai Chi. And I don't know if, you, if you've already heard about presence before, but presence is one of the most powerful things that anybody can develop in their life. It's one of the reasons why people are so stressed is because they don't have presence. It's people that get stuck thinking about what's gonna happen next or what's gonna happen in my future and they're worried about the future. It's because they're not present. In the present moment, there are no problems. Just like people get stressed thinking about the past and they think, oh, I shouldn't have done that or why did I do that? When you're present, you're not thinking about the past. You're just thinking about here and now. And when you're thinking about here and now, you're gonna feel much better. So presence is a beautiful benefit of practicing Tai Chi. Another benefit of Tai Chi that a lot of people already know, but it's not really understood by the general public, is balance. Tai Chi 
developed balance at such a, a micro level that it's, it's almost hard to believe, it's, it's hard to fathom. When we think about balance and physical balance, we understand that you know if, if you're doing an exercise like a squat and you do 100 squats, well, that's gonna be, it's gonna make you, your left leg and your right leg over time, over time and distance, it's gonna make each leg as strong as each other. That's gonna develop a, sort, a, a type of muscular balance within the body, right? Well, with Tai Chi, we're developing that left side, right side balance as well, but we're also developing a sort of internal and external balance. We're developing peace. We first are trying to relax the body. So that process of relaxation, of release, of letting go, it first begins that we search the body for that tension. So we're talking about awareness again. We're bringing the awareness into the body. We're becoming present to what's going on in the body. Oh, I'm present. I can feel a pain in my shoulder here right now in this present moment. Well, I'm going to relax that. Well, when you relax that, all of a sudden that area now of the body, all of a sudden that area, there's more harmony there. Where there was once a resistance, there was a tension, there was a pain, there was a a feeling of of something a blockage now there's you've released it now there's harmony now there's balance there's peace there's flow when you develop that flow that relaxation that balance you're going to feel more general happy in your life you're going to feel more joy because one of the i guess the antidotes to joy and peace and happiness is pain and suffering stress anxiety all of these things that are emotional issues emotional pains emotional sufferings well peace balance joy that's what you get when you remove any pain any suffering the natural state that you should be in is a state of peace that's your natural state peace balance presence joy happiness that's your natural state anything that's not that well, it's a lack of balance, it's a lack of presence, it's a lack of peace, it's a lack of joy, it's a lack of harmony, it's a lack of something has been added into your body, something has been added into your mind that's creating a disharmony. It's like you've got a, you've got a, a calm water, a calm pond or a, like, a, like a lake on a non-windy day and you just throw a rock into the water, boom, ripples everywhere. The ripple centers out from where the rock hit the water and all the way out. But you'll notice that you throw in one rock, it creates one set of ripples, right? And if you don't throw another rock, those ripples will just go all the way out to the edge of the lake and then they're gone. When you throw in another rock, it starts a new process of ripples that will ripple out to the edge of the lake. Well, stress and tension and anxiety, it's like someone throws a rock into your being and it causes a ripple to ripple out. A stress in the mind ripples out into the body. The difference is that the edge of the lake is just the edge of your body. That ripple goes into your body and it doesn't have anywhere to go unless you've been able to release it yourself, unless you've consciously released that tension, that ripple. Another awesome benefit of Tai Chi is just a general sense of well-being this feeling of just feeling good this sort of it's like a, it's like a feeling of energy vitality that, that rushes into the body because the thing is when you start becoming more balanced and you start developing flow and you start developing relaxation you start becoming present you start to become aware of this energy inside the body that you can experience it in many different ways you can experience it maybe as a, a kind of a vibration. You can feel it like as a tingling. You might experience it as a, an expanding within the body. There's lots of different ways that people experience chi flowing in the body. The main thing I want to say here about this is that most people are so unaware of what's going on in the body that they don't experience the chi, they don't experience the energy, they don't experience what's going on inside. And it's not that there isn't already chi flowing inside your body. Like there's all kinds of stuff happening inside your body right now. There's there's energy flowing. There's electric electrical sort of feelings. There's there's expanding and contracting, expanding, contracting. There's there's vibration. It's all happening inside your body right now. I promise you. But the thing is that we're so distracted with the mind that we don't become aware of what's going on inside the body. We're not aware of what's going on internally because we're so absorbed with the external world and why wouldn't you be it's like 
it's a feast, it's a festival out here. It's like you've got so much to attract your mind and to attract your attention that why would you go inside? I'll tell you why. Because inside is gold. It's pure bliss. Like your bliss state, your absolute bliss, your absolute peaceful, beautiful bliss state is internal. It's all internal. There's nothing for you outside in that existing in the external world. It's only on your internal self. That's where the experience of life happens. That's where you experience life. That's where everything goes on inside you. So guys, I hope this video has inspired you to become a little bit more interested in Tai Chi and maybe even find a teacher somewhere that you can go out and just get a, get a lesson. I mean, in every city in the world right now, you can find, you can Google and find free Tai Chi classes. And almost every city, almost every teacher is gonna offer a free class for new students. Just to dip your foot in the water. I mean, just get out there and just try it, like seriously. I mean, you will not believe what some of the benefits that you might experience immediately when you start your first Tai Chi class. You know, I, I don't know what it's gonna be for you. For me, it was, wow, I was present for probably the first time in my life. For you, maybe it's gonna be, you're gonna feel your legs like you never felt them before. Maybe you're gonna feel that root connection. Maybe you're gonna feel connected to your center. Or maybe you're gonna feel some, some chi flowing somewhere in the body that you never felt before. I don't know what it's gonna be for you, but you're gonna experience something. You're gonna experience something fantastic. So find a class somewhere, find a teacher, the best way you can learn is just with a teacher, even if their Tai Chi is not like a master, it doesn't matter. As long as you're practicing the movements and practicing some sort of Tai Chi movements, you're already going to be contributing to the way the body wants to move. The way that there's a natural way the body wants to move, that if you can start getting involved with that and start to explore what those natural movements are, you're going to awaken something inside that you have never experienced before. And guys, I promise you, it's gonna be the best thing you ever do. So find a class somewhere, find a teacher, or check out some of my other videos on this channel where um, I've got Tai Chi videos, I've got Qi Gong videos, like any of these kind of exercises, guys, when you practice them regularly, or even just practice them for the first time with as much relaxation and focus and intention as possible, you're gonna get results that will blow your mind. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and you got some value. And consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. I've got lots of videos about Tai Chi, Qi Gong, and I'll be talking more and more about presence, awareness, and other spiritual, more, more spiritually focused topics in the future. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.